First, I might just acknowledge a slip of the tongue um, and point out that the term um, ambulance driver has been supplanted by a paramedic, which I think, in fact, um, reflects the, the degree of skill and knowledge of this group of professionals. Um, I'll move on to um, a very pertinent question, which is to do with the application of these technologies to low- and middle-income countries. Thoughts, please. I've had the privilege of working with some people in low to middle income countries recently in Angola, in Sudan, in India, um, and um, actually realized that there's a lot of frustrations. I went into that as a dreamer <laughs> and worry that maybe I was becoming a naysayer. I don't think I am, but I think there are real challenges to overcome. So, for example, a lot of the technologies are commercially supplied. Um, the technology I mentioned at the start was high sensitivity troponin, great uh, power in troponin to make diagnoses of acute myocardial infarction very early. Um, so I thought about maybe we could approach industry to ask if they could donate old analyzers to low to middle income countries and they could use some of the technologies that maybe aren't right at the cutting edge but it's better, a lot better than what they have right now. There are real problems, because there are problems not just about having the equipment, it's the training, it's, the, uh, it's what you do about the results. You find a myocardial infarction in the low to middle income country, if there's no way you can treat that, then what are you going to do about it? So there's real challenges, big system problems, there are challenges that I think that have to be solved at government level, but it's our responsibility to put pressure on them to, to develop that. I think we might leave it there. Yeah, OK. Um, I'm going to ask you uh, to join, join me in thanking our speakers for a really good talks and a wonderful session.